Ah, our nation's capital, the place to be, unless of course you want to cook with gas. Because from November 2023, just like plastic bags, fossil fuels are getting the boot from Canberra. In recent news, the ACT has just become the first state in Australia to ban the use of fossil gas in new homes and businesses. As one of the most controversial things to come out of the ACT since Nick Kyrgios, the Climate Change and Greenhouse Gas Reduction, Natural Gas Transition Amendment Bill, championed by the Labor and Greens parties, has recently sailed through the Legislative Assembly of the ACT, signalling a resounding victory for clean energy advocates. So if you want to throw a shrimp on the barbie, as the Americans would say, you're going to have to use a portable Weber, because that's the only way you can still cook with gas. I mean, they surely could never ban that. It'd be an opera. Overall, the ban is a big hit for gas lovers, and only time will tell if the project is actually feasible, but it's certainly a strong step in the gas-free direction. The ACT already sources 100% of its electricity from renewables, so it's clear the territory is committed to slashing carbon emissions and achieving its net zero target by 2045. So for now, the ACT is the canary in the gas mine when it comes to renewable energy, but let's hope other states can follow suit. Now let's talk new solar tech news, because in news that surprises pretty much no one, China has once again displayed their dominance in the solar industry. Trina Solar, a Chinese solar powerhouse, is set to redefine the solar industry as they have just unveiled their revolutionary N-Type I Topcon Advanced Technology. I know, a name that you can barely pronounce tells you that it's gonna boast some amazing stats. And if you thought the same, you'd be right, because this tech boasts an extraordinary 26% efficiency rating. But that's only just the beginning, because Trina Solar expects the iTopCon tandem technology to surpass the 30% efficiency threshold. Trina Solar is already planning to release a new module that generates over 700 watts of power. Compared to panels in 2007, these new solar panels are almost four times the power. And if anybody tried to predict the technology we are capable of now, they would have been called crazy. Trina Solar's new advancement highlights the leaps we have taken over the past decade and go to show that one nation is really at the forefront of this technology. Now let's talk about fit news and no, that doesn't stand for fitness, it stands for feed-in tariffs, which is a payment that you receive for any unused electricity you get from your solar that you can send back to the grid. And it's actually one of the key ways your solar can pay itself off. Although, everyone knows too much of something decreases its value. So, because a lot of solar is generated in the middle of the day and people aren't using that much electricity at this time, there's actually an excess of daytime energy, making the feed-in tariffs decrease. In the last decades, FITs could go up to 60 cents per kilowatt hour, but now a good deal sits at around five to 10 cents. The real disappointment here is that energy retailers and generators have just not invested in the infrastructure to store this valuable resource during the day for later use at night when most people are using electricity. Whether they use thermal energy storage, hydrogen storage, or a huge battery bank, there are so many energy storage solutions that none of the electric suppliers have seemed to invest in. Because as we know, profit comes before benefits a lot of the time. It is expected that the value of the feed-in tariff will increase again to a more attractive range as the middle of the day solar export overflow can be absorbed via the expected increase in EV charging and battery storage in homes. Although, with the expected 30% increase in energy prices by the end of the year, let's hope the new infrastructure comes in quick. Interested in hearing more about all things energy? Then before you go, don't forget to hit subscribe and ring the notification bell to never miss a beat. Oh, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Bring it higher.